Hi, my name is Derek Garcia, and this is the second part of a three-part series covering Anchor's SIFT and Gripe tools, an SBOM generator and security scanner respectively that are designed to work seamlessly together. I previously covered SIFT in part one, so today I'll be reviewing Gripe and how it works with SIFT. With that said, Gripe is a binary tool for Linux and Mac OS that uses the command line to generate a number of vulnerability reports from either Docker images or source files, or SIFT, Cyclone DX, and SDX SBOMs. It's able to find vulnerabilities from a number of major operating systems and language specific packages using a series of databases. Like SIFT, it also supports a series of methods to customize reports to uniquely fit your working environment. As with any security scanner, it's only as useful as its database, and Gripe's database is very robust. It stores information locally in an SQLite file, allowing for offline use after downloading the database. Gripe will update the database, if needed, anytime Gripe is run to ensure the vulnerability data is always up to date. It pulls vulnerability data from 10 publicly accessible databases, such as the GitHub Advisory Database and NIST National Vulnerability Database. By default, Gripe will manage the database for you, but provides options for managing the database yourself. I won't be covering it today, but I'll link the detailed documentation below if you're interested. For Gripe itself, I'll be demonstrating on an Ubuntu server. To install it, you can use Homebrew or Mac ports, but I'll use the recommended curl method. Just pull the desired release from the releases page and pipe the output to the desired directory. In this case, I'm keeping my binary in the current directory. And we can pass the help flag to ensure the tool has been installed. Just like SIFT, this is one of the easiest to follow help guides I've seen. So again, props to the Anchor team for this. Before going any further, I'll preface this with the fact that the Gripe syntax is very similar to SIFT, which does make it easier to switch between the two. But as a result, a lot of what I'm going to be saying is going to sound pretty familiar if you've watched part one. Anyway, I'll start with a basic report. The only argument Gripe needs is the name of a Docker image or path to a project directory. I'll be using a small vulnerable image just as an example. The first time running the tool may take a while since the entire database needs to be imported, uh, but after it's stored in the cache, uh, subsequent runs are completed much faster. By default, a table view will be displayed to the standard output, much like SIFT. We can see the name of the package, what's installed, where it was fixed, if it was fixed, um, the related vulnerability, and its you know given severity, which is a lot of information, but very easy to read. This also applies for a project directory. So I'm just passing in an example vulnerable project. And we can see that ran much faster because it's one, a smaller problem, but the vulnerable database was already cached. Gripe can also parse SBOMs, which is where SIFT comes in. All of the next few examples are done with SBOMs generated with SIFT. Gripe can parse them in a few ways. The first being just passing the path of the SBOM path, like so. And you can see I have a directory of all SIFT generated SBOMs, and I can pass in the path. and we can see our information. We can also pipe the SBOM directly into Gripe. And the order is a little different, but it's the same information. Lastly, we can pipe SIFT's output directly into Gripe by using each tool as usual. This would look a little simpler if I had these tools installed in my bin directory, but the concept is still the same. I just use SIFT as usual, pass in a directory, I'll put it to a, a SIFT FSBOM and pipe it to Gripe. And we have a report. This allows for tools to work seamlessly together and there'll be a benefit to any sort of workflow. Gripe also supports a number of output formats, including Gripe's own vulnerability report and a series of Cyclone DX formats using the dash O flag. So for example, this here will generate a report in the Gripe format. Before moving on to the Cyclone DX formats, I'll briefly go over the Gripe report. They each are split into four fields, vulnerability, 
related vulnerabilities, match details, and artifact. The vulnerability field details the exact match for the vulnerability that was found. Related vulnerabilities detail any extra information found relating to the match vulnerabilities. Match details provides details on how and what was used to find that vulnerability. And lastly, the artifact is just the metadata about the report itself. The report is very thorough and a very good alternative if any of the other standards don't meet your current needs. To write to a file instead of the standard output, we can use the dash dash file flag to include the file path. Unfortunately, Gripe doesn't support multiple output files like SIP does, but regardless, we can write to a file like so. Go. This time I'm just using Cyclone DX, and we can view the result like so. At the moment, the only form supported is XML, but there is an embedded VEX versions for Cyclone DX, which are available for both JSON and XML. The difference between the two is that regular Cyclone DX has vulnerability information with the corresponding component, while the VEX versions have the vulnerability information appended at the end of the report. Personally, I think it's a little backwards since I would consider VEX info directly next to the component as embedded, but I'll link it in the description that details more about Cyclone DX and the embedded VEX. Moving on, Gripe also shares uh, SIP's ability to use Go templates to generate custom reports. I'll link below to learn more about Go templates, but for now I'll demonstrate the example with just one that was provided with the documentation. To create a template, I'll first create a Go template file, like so. And I'm just going to copy and paste the demo, which, like SIP, uh, the demo is just to create a CSV file version of the report. We set the output flag to template and the dash T to pass in the specific template file. So in my case, I'll just write to the standard output like so. And we can see all the information presented. Uh, this is extremely useful when generating reports or creating one that fits your own custom standard. Gripe is a great vulnerability scanning tool. The wide range of supported languages allows for Gripe to be used with a number of projects. Gripe's large and well-maintained vulnerability database ensures that the reports are accurate and detailed. The optional database configuration tools and Go templates add an extra level of customization that you can use to best suit your working environment. When paired with SIFT, Gripe is an excellent resource for any environment. In the final part, I'll go over each tool's respective GitHub actions and demonstrate how they can improve your workflow autonomously. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnaspbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.